Um, yeah, this Karen video was a bit upsetting. Again, I think it's probably um, it's probably run its course, but just in terms of an observation about what's kind of going on in society at the moment, I've kind of had enough with this can't this kind of public shaming of karen's a little bit especially when it's not warranted there are situations where you know like that woman that got slapped in the uh petrol station right by a latina girl do you remember that one or Hispanic? i don't know how you whatever, whatever they whatever you would um, ascribe her to be i'm sure, I'm sure she's latina right? i'm pretty sure um she was talking reckless said something derogatory and the latina girl did not hesitate and just slapped her across the face and you kept it moving that's all it needs to happen you don't need to go around and phoning the people's employers and doing whatever it may be people just need to get a slap or a punch in the face most of these karens who are talking reckless who are going up to you know minorities and telling them how to live their lives and telling them off for any kind of social interaction that they think that they should not be doing or whatever it may be they just need to get punched in the face. They're enough. They're they're bottom feeder do-gooders who have essentially skirted by their entire life with nobody pulling them up and telling them that they're being a bit of a brat. That's all they need. But they don't need their whole lives destroyed by vigilantes with smartphones in their hands. And I think this is a perfect example of it. This guy called Carlos Dillard uh, decided to f follow and record this supposed Karen because they got into some sort of traffic altercation where she essentially flipped him off. He felt agreed by it so that natural thing everyone does i'm not sure why that's a thing in because again i don't have a car but it's a thing that people do when they get into some sort of altercation with somebody on the road where they follow them around and i'm guessing most of the reason why is because when somebody drives off it's all like them cutting the argument it's all like they hung up and you want them to keep, keep making your point so you follow them in the car like nah they're gonna learn today they're gonna learn they're gonna learn and then you you get in it you get you know you get side by side to them and you keep berating them again or you get behind them or if you're lucky enough you happen to stop at the same car park they're in and then you keep you know keep arguing um so it's a natural thing that people do but i guess the fact that he went and recorded the whole interaction from when he got you know she obviously rushed back to her home because she's scared um she doesn't know what's going on she's having a bit of a manic episode which happens a bit later he keeps on recording he keeps on recording keeps pestering her when she's clearly um you know she's clearly kind of gone completely nuts whether or not she's nuts to begin with whether or not she's having an actual manic episode because she's reliving or retelling all these other instances that have happened in the past of other karens who've had their whole lives destroyed via one viral video she's covering her face trying to cover her license plate and this guy's just carrying on and on and on and i think it just needs to stop it just needs to stop especially because this dude ended up being a complete bottom feeder because it, it transpires moments later as soon as the video went viral he then decided to drop t-shirts right with are you okay karen as a caption in the front i'll play a little bit of it now at the moment but it's pretty apprehensive it's pretty different it's, it's pretty uh deplorable really to be honest like an absolute scumbag of a dude taking advantage of the situation and trying to virtue signal and also trying to you know become a celebrity in his own right right a viral celebrity in that case karen are you okay can you explain to me calmly I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. Guys, this is her license plate. Imagine, what are you doing? Like, why should she have to explain herself to you? You had an argument and you were driving in your car. You had a flip. And again, this is what I don't understand this current era we're in. Why can't two adults just have a disagreement? It's like that whole thing that happened with, is it Alison Roman and um, what's her face? Um, John Legend's wife. It was made into a big deal, but essentially she was a bit jealous. Yeah, a bit jealous. Uh, Chrissy Teigen, yeah, that's her name, right? Chrissy Teigen, Alison Roman had a bit of a falling out. Um, you know, these, um, what do you call it? These cutesy home chefs having a bit of a falling out. One happens to be a, a super duper celebrity. The other happens to be a celebrity in like, you know, a bit of a microwave, but a celebrity in her own right too, right? She has a, a really uh, cult following behind her. They have a falling out or mostly based because Alison Roman decided to um, essentially uh, divulge the fact that she's unhappy that... Um, Chrissy Teigen and the lady that does all the feng shui stuff about home interior um, are getting all the looks and she isn't, right? Because she, she would say, oh, because I think she's upset Chrissy Teigen was doing the collaboration with some big major brand. Whatever. She was just a bit jealous. You're allowed to be jealous. You're allowed to be a bit of a hater. You're allowed to be upset. You're allowed to have a bit of an, a, an altercation, a disagreement with somebody who happens to be your peer. You're allowed to do that. It's fine. You're allowed to have it out. But instead, they turned it into some racial thing. They turned it into, uh, you know, women not banding together and all this nonsense. And she has to, uh, Alison Roman writes a flipping essay, apologizes three or four times. And, you know, they try to dig out another image of her, try to cancel her because she wore an Amy Winehouse outfit. Just absolute nonsense. Like, what the hell are you guys doing? Two adults had a falling out. Cool. Safe. 
one adult decides to be dramatic about it okay cool safe go home just go home I don't get it. She flipped you off. She didn't bloody go to your home and stick a flipping shotgun in your in your mum's mouth and say hasta la vista and, and pull the trigger. No. She flipped you off when you were having a bit of a disagreement on the road. What is the big deal? Honestly, where is the issue here? I don't see the issue. Number she lives here. This is her address. And he knows exactly what he's doing. He's recording. A, he's, he's doing the whole license plate thing. Do, put, of course, essentially doxing this woman live on camera. Uh, Twitter didn't take this down, right? But Twitter are quick to, you know, um, they're quick to put warning bloody labels on Donald Trump's tweet, but they're not worried about this whole vigilante cancelling of Karen's because she happened to fit into the archetype. She's a bit of a nutcase. Yeah. Is she a bit of a bitch? Probably. But does it warrant going to her house and recording her having a manic episode outside of her, outside of her apartment? No. <laughs> Karen, you flipped me off. No, you you cut me off. And again, it could be all theatrics, but it's, this is just so unnecessary. Oh, and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? No, Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why are you... Anyway, that's the whole video. And then some people come around, ban around, and he still tries to kill Libra and Karen. And it's just deplorable, really, man. I've had enough of it, man. I'm done. Unless it's a warranted Karen incident, which there's been many of, this is not warranted. You don't need to follow somebody all the way home, right? And essentially broadcast their address for the internet in order to prop yourself up. It's really disgusting. Is this the kind of fame you want? Is this the kind of celebrity you want? Is this how you want to pull your family out from the uh, pits of poverty? by cancelling somebody who happened to put a middle finger up at you how infantile is that i'm gonna call the police because you did a middle finger it's like grow up man grow up is this the fight that we want to have as black people really is this the fight we want and again it's only it's only a valid karen interaction because he happens to be black by the way if this guy was white would this would this have the same sort of virality will people give a shit probably not it's insane it's honestly it's insane it really annoys me like grow up man like god damn you guys but hey what do I know?